Hi everyone, welcome to Skill Bell Tutorials. This is Liferay 6.2 Development Tutorials, session number 7. In the previous session, we have seen how ca we can create a Liferay portlet and we have uh, explored uh, the Liferay portlet's uh, folder structure and how it is created and um, those stuffs we have seen in the last session and in this session we are going to learn about the files uh, which is available with liferay portal that is important configuration files we have a web.xml file under web inf which is actually uh, not much uh, used in the portlet of uh, portlet uh, application development uh, behalf it is required for every web applications we develop so uh, as usual a web.xml with a plain web app field is created over here so there is nothing uh, much to do with it but an important file is this one we have a portlet.xml file if you look at this uh, Port, portlet.xml file you can see most of your portlets configurations which is actually uh, every generic configuration is actually done on the portlet xml if you have multiple portlets you can configure all those portlets under the portlet app and uh, with a tag xml tag portlet you can mention as many portlets over here you could see the portlet name uh, wow library which we have given that you can see over here and you can see a display name and you will also see it is actually using the default library mvc portlet when we are going to write our custom java classes uh, for our you know, portlet creation that time this we need to update then we have the uh, init parameters that is our view template our view.jsp we have uh, given and then expiration cache it's a configuration which uh, your um, uh, your portlet is going to expire after some time or uh, something like that so it's uh, when you give zero there is no expiration will uh, exp expire it will not happen for your portlet at the uh, at the portal when it's deployed uh, when it's shown in in a portal page and actually uh, and also it is actually the supporting uh, supporting it's a text or html portlet that's what uh, it's all about then the portlet info your portlet title which will be shown then a short title which which is also be available with your port portlet information and the keywords for uh, the portlet the that portlet info uh, is available here then the security role reference administrator guest power user and user these are the default uh, user category which is available with a life ray portal so it's coming with administrator guest power user and user so these guys can mm, view or see the uh, portlet so that's what uh, it's all mean by the portlet dot uh, xml file so it's an important file major uh, configuration file uh, be careful uh, on learning this part and next uh, we are coming to um, a small section called uh life free display dot xml so this this place uh, you see category dot sample so what it is actually it's actually when you deploy your portlet you see your portlets under the sample uh, po mm, sample section so this is the category sample you see that wow life ray is actually added into this place so if we want to change that um, we can probably change it by clicking on the overview behalf of giving uh, category sample we are going to uh, give something called uh, neonics uh, training okay so the neonics uh, neonics training okay that's that's enough so then you save it so the portlets or whatever the portlets which is under this uh, particular uh, uh, neonics training section uh, when, whenever you mention the neonics uh, training uh, uh, as a category so this section will be created when you deploy the portal so let's see that live in action let's deploy this one and see it's happening at the browser 
deploy the portlet so the deployment is happening okay let's check the console yes the wow lifefree portlet is deployed and it's available now you reload the page click on the plus uh, you see from the samples it has removed and a new section neonix training has created and the wow lifefree is moved to the Neonix training section. So that's it for um, uh, the Liferay display.xml. The Liferay display.xml is mainly focusing on the configuration where you can, you want to display uh, your portlets uh, under which category. The next two files is portlet.xml. This is not a mandatory file for uh, the generic portlets, but for Liferay based portlets uh, it's a it's a more on saying this it's a life -ray specific file some life -ray specific configurations you have to do then you have to um, uh, you have to work on this file life -ray portlet xml the almost or uh, the same information which you have done on the generic portlet file is going to be present in this file as well in addition to that there is some css class wrapper which is actually going to um, uh, apply for your CSS whatever the CSS which is shown into the uh, UI that CSS wrapper will be adding additional wow life ray portlet then your uh, CSS data will be coming CSS styles and all those things will be applying so then your header uh, portlet class then footer portlet class all those things is going to be a rest of the things is your role mapping your uh, role mapping is already done in the portlet um, uh, portlet.xml the same role mapping is also you can do with uh, uh, that sorry you know, I'm if I'm saying correct the roles which is actually the security role references which is uh, which is probably used for showing or accessible to whom that information is where in the portlet.xml and that roles mapping will be available in the liferay portlet.xml so that that's um, that's all with the liferay portlet.xml then coming with uh, one file which is a plugin package.properties in this plugin package.properties if you look at this here is where your plugins information which version of liferay it is accessible to or it is um, it is applicable this portlet plugin is applicable for which liferay portal so that information you can uh, see from here and also if you want to add some libraries which is already used by liferay to your portlet then you don't need to uh, yeah, include those uh, those libraries once again to your portlet so you can just clicking on the uh, you, you just first click on the properties then you just need to click on add then you will see whatever the port jar files or libraries which is available in liferay portal that you can reuse so and that that libraries will be present over here so that 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 that's all with the liferay plugin package dot properties uh, and uh, in the next uh, se uh, section uh, i'm going to uh, teach you the phases of uh, liferay uh, portlet um, where uh, where actually we have we can see a custom class we are custom a controller class we are going to write for this life ray portlet so that's all for this section thank you for watching skill bell tutorials visit again